Ich freue mich jetzt auf meine Kollegin Dr. Katie Plaisance, die seit Januar dieses Jahres bei uns als amerikanische Postdoc arbeitet. Und da ihr Englisch noch viel flüssiger ist als ihr Deutsch bislang, wird sie auf Englisch zu uns sprechen. Well, I hope Tatiana said some nice things. I <clears throat> couldn't really understand it, so. <laughs> um, <clears throat> anyway, it's a pleasure and an honor for me to be able to speak here tonight on the occasion of the 10-year anniversary of the ZFAB. As some of you may already know, I came here in January as a postdoctoral fellow in philosophy of biology. Paul asked if I would say something tonight about why I chose to come to the ZFAB. Before doing so, however, it will be helpful for me to tell you a bit about myself. As I'm sure you can tell by now, I'm an American. I completed my PhD last year at the University of Minnesota with a specialization in philosophy of biology and a minor in bioethics. Well before I finished, however, not even two years into the program, one of the faculty members at the University of Minnesota, incidentally this was Ron Geary who gave the Leibniz lectures here several years ago, um, asked me what I wanted to do after I got my PhD. I told him that I wanted to do postdoctoral research outside of the United States so as to gain a non-American perspective on philosophy of science. Also, I wanted it to be a place with a diverse group of people who took science very seriously. Of course, he said, such a job would be wonderful, but nearly impossible to find. Three years later, as I was finishing my dissertation, I began to think again about jobs. I spoke with my advisor, and we decided that the most important thing was for me to find a place that fulfilled two criteria. First, that the philosophers of science did work that was empirically informed and in touch with the area of science on which they did research. Second, that the place have a broad, inclusive notion of philosophy of science that also included, for example, science studies and ethics of science. Both of these qualities are difficult to find together and exist in only a few departments in the US. However, not long after my discussion with my advisor, I saw the announcement for the postdoctoral fellowship here at the ZFAV in philosophy of biology. I was very excited about this because, of course, I was already familiar with Paul Heunigen's work as I had taught uh, Kuhn's scientific, uh, structure of scientific revolutions in a philosophy of science class in graduate school and found Paul's work to be much clearer than Kuhn's. In addition, I saw that the ZFAV had a wonderfully diverse group of researchers who worked from a philosophical perspective, but had backgrounds in law, economics, physics, and biology. I spoke with my advisor about this position, and he said that, of course, the ZFAV for me would be a perfect fit. Not only did it have a reputation for doing empirically informed work, but it also had another reputation as well. It had a history of postdoctoral researchers who went on to become internationally recognized for, essence in, for excellence in philosophy of science. Marcel Weber is a case in point. Now, these are all reasons why I came to the ZFAV. However, I'd also like to make a couple of brief comments about my experience here thus far. First, I don't hesitate to say that the ZFAV has lived up to its reputation in every respect. Yet there's something else that I found, an incredibly supportive and collaborative atmosphere. For example, within just a few weeks of my coming here, another researcher named Mehmet Elgin joined us for the summer. Mehmet was a student of Elliot Sobers, who is arguably the most prominent philosopher of biology working in the field today. Immediately, Mehmet set up a reading group for some of the ZFA members, which resulted in a collaboration between Mehmet and myself and Thomas Radin, another current member of the department who formerly had the position that I have today. In addition, Tatiana informed us that she had successfully invited world-renowned philosopher of science Philip Kitcher to give the um, annual Leibniz lectures at the ZFAV next summer. Upon hearing this, Thomas and I had the idea to organize a conference around Philip Kitcher's visit. The conference is on the biological explanations of behavior and will take place here next June. In addition, we have set up um, a collaboration with Ken Waters at the University of Minnesota to publish some of the papers of the conference in the next volume of the Minnesota Studies of Philosophy of Science, one of the most prestigious book series in our field. I can honestly say then that my experience here has been exceptional in every way, and that I've had the opportunity to do some great work this year, although I obviously need to spend some more time learning German. After my time here, I will eventually return to the US. Although I'm quite optimistic about my future, as my position and experience here will certainly help me in getting a job at an excellent department in the US, 
I also can't imagine a better place to work than the ZWV. Thank you.